Welcome back to Shotoku Tech. In a previous video, we installed the WebThings gateway from Mozilla Internet of Things on our Raspberry Pi. And the next logical step will be simply adding these MiRAS Wi-Fi smart plugs to our WebThings gateway. So first, we're going to plug in this MiRAS Wi-Fi smart plug into an electrical outlet. Then you want to press and hold the button on the side until you get a flashing green and amber light. That means that the plug is in basically access point mode, meaning that you can connect to it with the app and configure it for your Wi-Fi network. Now we're going to open up the phone app. When you first open the MiRAS app, it wants to be connected to the Wi-Fi, so we're going to go into our Wi-Fi settings and connect it to our internet Wi-Fi here. Now we can proceed with setting up the smart plug. In the MiRAS app, we're going to add, select smart plug, hit next. Now it is flashing amber, so we hit next again. Now here we're going to give it a name. I'm going to call it 2. You select an icon for it, then you add your SSID and password. Now you have to connect to the MiRAS device in Wi-Fi to finish the setup. And then you come back to the MiRAS app and hit next. It does a little configuration and then it says it's done. So now we can control that outlet in the MiRAS app. Okay, so we have the smart plugs on our Wi-Fi network now, and we can manage them in the MiRAS app, but we want to manage many other things in a single console, and that's going to be the Mozilla Internet of Things WebThings gateway we build on a Raspberry Pi. So now we're going to go ahead and log in to our WebThings gateway, and I've gone ahead and enabled multi-factor authentication, so I'm going to get my phone out here with my Authenticator app and get my code. Next, to control those plugs we just configured, we want to go back into WebThings Gateway and install and configure the MiRAS plugin. So we go into Settings, Add-ons, and we're going to add an add-on. There we go. And it's added, so we go back now, and we're going to configure it with our email address and password that we used in the app on our smartphone when we configured those plugs for our Wi-Fi network. So once we have the add-on in place and we've added our sign-on for the MiRAS app, we should be able to discover devices. So we're going to go to Things, and we're scanning for devices, and there's those two plugs we set up, Plug 1 and Plug 2. They're in now. I'm going to say done. Now, on our WebThings gateway running on Raspberry Pi, courtesy of Mozilla Internet of Things, we can control these MiRAS smart plugs, turning them on and off, and control many other devices that we add through add-ons in settings of our WebThings gateway. So stay tuned, and thank you very much. So. Make sure to check all the links in the description down below. Please subscribe, check out some of these other videos, and thank you very much. Thank you for watching Shotoku Tech. Please subscribe, comment, like, and share.